All right, y'all, you guys saw the title. So I've been getting a whole bunch of people asking me. I don't know if they're new subscribers or what, but they've been asking me, how many bikes do you have? How many bikes do you have? Like, I'm about to let you guys know how many bikes I actually have. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people, they don't like telling people how many bikes they have. I don't know what the reason for it is, but I really don't care. So I'm going to let you guys know what I have personally that I ride and my bikes. So for my first bike is the SE Monster Quad 29er. My second bike is the Fast Ripper. Fast Ripper bike. Third bike is, it's a City Grounds SE Collab. City Grounds SE Big Ripper. That's my third. And my last and final bike is the Flovel Flyer 24 inch double XL on 2.4s, Bozaks. Real tight on the answer forks, carbon forks. Real tight, but it works. Those are my four bikes. That's it, that's all I have is four bikes. Four SE bikes, that's it. Now, Chell is a different story. So as we walk over here, we got Maya's little banana bike that I rebuilt and uh, restored. It was a mess. And then Maya's 20 inch SC Wildman. Just finished that build. Came out super nice, super nice. And then we got Chell's bikes. So Chell loves pink, as you guys know. So she puts pink on all her bikes. I put them over here because she don't ride them. Um, if she was going to ride a bike, it would probably be this one. And I'll just take it down from here. Easy to get to. But from here over, she don't touch. So first, she has the SC collab with Vans Blocks Flyer 26. She's got the Fast Ripper. Mike Buff in pink, Fast Ripper. That's her bike too. And then she got the 26 inch Blocks Flyer. Custom stickers from Ride Out Supply, Chell's Flyer, Falling Gear, cause she falls at every freaking ride out we go to. And then um, she's got a PK Ripper. 20 inch that was her race bike when she raced 20s 20 inch and this one here is her bike this is her 24 inch flow flyer and this is the bike that she crashed on and broke her collarbone and she never touched it ever again since that day not even sat on it I told her I was going to sell it she said no so she hasn't touched it. She's afraid of it. I don't know. And this is her SoCal Flyer, her first SE bike, which she hasn't touched. And then last but not least, her Money Lynch Beast Mode. She loves that bike. She loves that damn bike. And you got the custom sticker kit with the pink background, green lettering. And that's it for the SE bikes, guys. For all my new subscribers that I've been getting for some reason. I haven't been making too many videos, but yeah. Those are the SE bikes. Now, if you wanna come over here and follow me at Bike Life G, which is my EV page, electric vehicle page, Bike Life G on YouTube. This is mine. This is the Nanobot LS7 Plus. The fastest 
bike I well the fastest electric vehicle that I have is this one this one here goes 55 miles an hour and it is scary as hell scary and this is Maya's this is her little Rambler 12 over volted uh, stock it goes like 13 miles an hour but since I over volted it it's not fully charged but it gets about 50 miles and it goes 25 miles an hour 24 25 with her on it with me on it it goes about 18 miles an hour with her 25 and I put a big battery in there not too big but it's big enough and an overvolt kit off of eBay this is mine this is the aerial rider uh, I just got this one new bell too I love it loving this bell bell is nice aerial rider 37 miles an hour guys out the box extra battery it probably would do 40 but I haven't put it on yet the Zeus 33 miles an hour this is the Zeus with the skateboard holder that's mine too and then Chell's crew dart Joe's crew dart that goes 28 miles an hour and then this is like me and Chell's like she rides it more than I do but this is my electro and company it's a razor RSF 650 so basically out of the box you know it's a toy it's still a toy but it's not a toy this goes 46 miles an hour super sketchy but it's very small and it's like a little freaking motorcycle but very expensive to build um, it's a 72 volt system <clears throat> not recommended to go 72 volts on the razor because it was expensive so and last but not least, I'm working on this. I just sanded everything down. Um, I'm gonna end up getting like a new carburetor and a big bore kit, and then it should go like 35, 40 ish. Some people say 50, but I doubt it's gonna go 50. But that stuff is really cheap. It's like 80 bucks and like 30 bucks, like 130 bucks, and it gives you a bunch of more power. And then that's that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna paint it, new grips, and that's a whole nother story. But that's it, guys. Those are the bikes. So basically, I have four pedal bikes. So for all you newbies, there you go. Peace.